Welcome to the My Compass PA mobile app demonstration video on how to submit a LIHEAP crisis application using My Compass PA. This demonstration video shows how a user submits a LIHEAP crisis application in the mobile app. For the report a LIHEAP crisis button to appear on the app's dashboard, the user must have received a LIHEAP cash payment in the current energy season and that payment has to be linked to their My Compass account. The user will tap the report a LIHEAP crisis button below the reminder cards. The first screen prompts the user to indicate whether the household is experiencing an emergency situation, such as they're in danger of being without fuel, that is, they have less than a 15-day supply, they're in danger of having their utility service terminated, that is, they received a notice that their service will be shut off within the next 60 days, they're out of fuel, the main or secondary heating source has been shut off, or there is broken heating equipment or leaking lines that must be fixed or replaced. The screen also provides instructions regarding what the user should do if they believe they need immediate assistance but are attempting to report a LIHEAP crisis outside normal business hours. Note that tapping the back button in the upper left of the screen at any point in the process takes the user back to the app's dashboard. If the user taps no and then taps the report a LIHEAP crisis button at the bottom of the screen, a pop-up message will appear. The message will tell the user that they do not automatically qualify for LIHEAP crisis benefits. Tapping the OK button closes the pop-up. This time, the user taps Yes when asked to indicate whether they're experiencing an emergency situation. After tapping Yes, they tap the Report LIHEAP crisis button at the bottom of the screen. The app will move to the screen seen here. The user should review their address. If it's correct, they'll tap Yes which they do for the purposes of this demonstration video. The user should then review the list of known household individuals and consider whether anyone new moved into the home that isn't on the list. Please note that if the user either taps no to indicate that the address is incorrect or taps yes to indicate that the list of household individuals is incorrect, which they'll do in this instance, if they tap the continue button at the bottom of the screen, the app will prompt them to submit an application using Compass Desktop. This user's household information, like their address information, is correct. They tap the OK button to close the pop-up, tap No to indicate that there was no change to the household, and tap the Continue button. When they do, a screen will appear where the user can select the heating source for which they are reporting a crisis. If the user taps the provider shown, the app will pull in case information for the user to review. If the provider isn't shown, the user will tap Other. The user taps Other and Continue. The Other Heating Source screen will appear. The user will begin by indicating their primary heating source. They'll tap the downward pointing arrow in the Primary Heating Source field. When they do, Primary Heating Source selections will appear and they can select a heating source from the options shown. Please note that the user can either type the heating source in the field provided or scroll through the list and tap the desired option. This user taps coal to select it as the heating source. Coal appears in the primary heating source field. This user completes the remainder of the other heating source screen. They'll select the utility fuel dealer, enter their account number, select an account name, enter the best way to contact the provider, and tap the Add Heating Provider button. The app will take the user to the Crisis Details screen. Using this screen, they can indicate the nature of their LIHEAP crisis. The available fields the user has to complete depend on the boxes they check. This user indicates that their coal is shut off and estimates that they have three days remaining. After entering the details, they tap the Add Crisis Details button at the bottom of the screen. On the Crisis Details screen that appears, the user can verify the information entered. If any of the information is incorrect, the user can tap the Edit button to the right of the provider information. The user taps the Edit button. The Crisis Details screen opens. On this screen, the user will see the details they previously entered. The user can edit any information and tap the Add Crisis Details button to confirm the changes or leave the details unchanged and tap the Add Crisis Details button to confirm their decision. For the purposes of this demonstration video, the user decides not to make any changes and taps the Add Crisis Details button. This brings them back to the Crisis Details screen. 
All required information must be completed before the user will be able to tap the Report Crisis button to submit their LIHEAP Crisis application. The user indicates whether the crisis is life-threatening, in this case by tapping Yes, enters the best way to contact them, and taps the Report Crisis button. Having successfully completed the application, a success screen will appear. The screen informs the user that their request was successfully submitted and that it may take three to seven business days for the changes to appear in the app. When the user taps the Return to Dashboard button at the bottom of the screen, they will return to the app's dashboard. Thank you for watching this My Compass PA mobile app demonstration video. Please note that links to all My Compass PA demonstration videos appear in the video description below. Have a great day!